Today, we are making beef stroganoff. I used half turkey and half beef and made this delicious meal. It's affordable and easy. So we're gonna saute our onions and peppers, of course, in the olive oil first. So we're gonna put in some olive oil and do our veggies right quick. I'm gonna turn this down a little. So I don't have green pepper, I just have red pepper. So we're gonna put this in here. Start that. We're just gonna let these get soft. And some, that's going to be for mushrooms, shrooms. Now, I'm cooking for a bunch of teenagers, so some of them don't want mushrooms in there, so I'm just putting them on the side. So this will just be something they can grab and put on top of their... Uh, be strong enough if they want to. And then once these are nice and soft, I'm going to put them in a bowl and we're going to start browning our ground beef and ground turkey. You can do beef strong enough with beef stew if you do. Of course, you got to cook it and get it good and done. Or you can uh, make it out of ground beef. We'll get these out of here. We're going to start browning our meat. I've got ground beef and I've got a little bit of turkey. I'm going to combine them because I've got teenagers eating and I want to make sure I have enough. I'm going to put just a little bit of water in here and let these cook for a minute with a lid on them. Get them soft. The turkey is way smushier than the beef. So, if you're trying to cut down, um, instead of going all the way turkey, you can go half and half, and that way at least it's such, not such a drastic change all at one time, because even the texture's different of it, a lot different. All right, I am going to reserve some of this beef for another meal. I can reserve it for nachos tonight, some of it, so I'm going to get some of it out. We won't need a whole lot for that. Okay. Now we're going to put in a packet of Lipton onion soup mix. We're going to put in our peppers and onion. Sprinkle some Worcestershire in here. A couple of shakes. I'm going to take some cornstarch. And put some in this milk. I've got um, a cup of milk. I think I'm going to go ahead and put a cup and a half in there. So we'll have plenty of gravy. I might could even do two cups. I think I'll do two. And then we're going to whisk in some of this cornstarch. So I'm going to pour this cup in here. And go ahead and put in about a half cup of sour cream. And let's mix this up. See how it's looking. It's already wanting to get thick on me. 
Let me turn it off. Turn down your heat. Okay, I'm going to just turn it up and let it keep stay warm while we make these noodles. That's about a pound of noodles. And all you're supposed to put in your noodles is salt, no oil. We put in a full cup of sour cream, a little salt and pepper, and this is ready to serve over our noodles. As soon as our noodles get done, we can eat. All right, let's make a plate. Noodles? Well... Stroganoff. I'm gonna put the mushrooms on mine as well. So let me get a few mushrooms to go on mine. All right, y'all. This is just lunch, so I'm not having any bread. of us are having to cook more and try to spread out our budget this is a good budget meal for you and your kids something they will like like I said you can leave out the peppers and onions and just use the soup mix and they won't see those pieces in there if you got picky kids thanks for watching Colored Valley Cooks where we cook like mom and dad let's eat